Oh, hey. Mr. Gibson here, and I need you to understand how to put away my colored pencils. So let's take a look at this thing and make sure you have it done correctly. Okay, this is your pencil topper, and it needs to be organized exactly the way you see it here. All right, so let's make sure you have this correct. All right, first thing is the center cup. There is nothing in here but a pencil sharpener. Okay, the pencil sharpener can be in there during class, but at the end of class, it does need to go back to here. And you can see the blue one is missing, and so that's where that one goes, at the end of class. Okay, also, at the end of class, these need to be organized as such. Red, and pink is okay to go with red because it is made from red. Then orange, and then yellow, and then greens, and all shades of greens. Oh, I could see there's a blue in there. We'll pull that one out. And I'll put that in the next cup, which is blue. Now, blue is a little tricky because sometimes they look like purple. And so you need to actually read these sometimes. Obviously, these are light blue, so those are pretty easy to pick out. Okay, next is purple or violet. Maroon is okay to go in here, or a magenta. Sometimes they'll say raspberry on your pencil. That's in the purple category, so that goes in this cup right here, a purple. And then the cup that most kids get confused on, these are the neutrals, okay? We'll have black, white, and brown in here all the time. These ones stay together. These are the only cup of mixed, um, I guess, colors, so to speak. All right, everything else is just the same color in those cups. And then finally, our final cup, this is going to be the drawing pencils or the regular writing pencil cup. And it is okay to put the eraser in there as you can see. Erasers go with those pencils, so that is the cup for that. There should not be a bunch of erasers and pencils in the center cup, just as a reminder. And so this is what it should look like. Please make sure yours looks like this now. Thank you.